Property is Ecocide by Eric Schechter Feedback loops are speeding up global warming. If we don't halt that, watch for famine, collapse of civilization, death of most humans, I'd estimate by around 2030. But that collapse won't halt the feedback, some of which is now independent of human activities. For instance, the melting of polar ice reduces reflectivity and so increases the planet's capture of sunlight. Continued warming will collapse the ecosystem. Humans and most other species will go extinct, I'd estimate by around 2040. The billionaires in bunkers are fools. They'll emerge to nothing but ashes. It might not be too late to fix this. We know what changes to make in our technology, but we're not making those changes. That's a social problem. Most governments are doing too little, too late. That's because they're owned by plutocrats, especially oil companies, who make immense short-term profits from current arrangements. Recent wars are over the petrodollar. Humanitarian intervention is a lie. Part of the problem is that the plutocrats are not a united conspiracy like the fabled Illuminati. Each plutocrat is in this only for himself. Each says to himself, I just want to make a quick buck right now. I'll let someone else worry about saving life on Earth. Yes, they're selfish, but not a lot more than ordinary people in our society, each of whom says, I just want to buy my own home. I'll let somebody else worry about that unlucky beggar on the street corner. Private property separates us, replacing cooperation with competition, which is not a good thing. Moderation and reform are not possible. Capitalism is devious like the devil and grows like cancer. The only solution is sharing and caring. We need a worldwide eco-socialist revolution. The first step is to explain this to everyone. You can read more at leftymathprof.org.